Laidback Mickey here of Laidback Cycles, and today we are doing a review of the Teratrike Gran Turismo Sport, otherwise known as the GTS. We're gonna do two things today. We're gonna do a ride, and we're also gonna go over the features of this awesome trike. Let's go ahead and check it out. So let's go over the features of the Teratrike GTS. Who wants this trike? Well, I think everybody's gonna love this trike and a lot of people are gonna crave this trike. This trike is Teratrike's go at a faster, more comfortable, more performance trike. They said, we wanna make it lighter, we wanna make it faster and more comfortable. It's something that they've done with their Sportster model, which was an all aluminum frame, but they said we can actually go above and beyond that. They have higher end components on it. They have a double wall wheel, the aluminum frame. They have a custom seat that actually cups your body a little bit better. Um, that way you have better power transfer to the pedals. It is light, it's easy to pick up. If anything, if you're gonna buy a trike and you wanna easily lift it in and out of your car, well, this is a light trike, probably one of the lightest uh, on the market. For, definitely for the money. Four components, they're using higher end components. 105 crank, SLX uh, rear derailleur, rapid fire Shimano shifters. And you know what's even cooler? They got hydraulic brakes. The benefit of that is you don't have to use a lot of strength in order to stop. And you're running uh, Schwalbe Triker tires. They're fast, they're smooth, they're thorn resistant. And a rear marathon, we're running a 24 inch tire in the back. So you keep the speed up, but you also have the low gearing because you're running an 11 speed in the back and a, and a double up front, low gearing so you could easily get up the hills. And we're gonna take this trike in a few outside and actually test ride it. And we're gonna give you some feedback on that. So let's go ahead and let's go to the test ride. Laid back Mickey here doing the review of the Gran Turismo Sport, otherwise known as the Teratrike GTS. And uh, I was cruising down fast, down the hill. You know what? It's a fast trike. It's smooth. It's comfortable. It, the seat cups your body nice. Um, and it, it was great braking as well with the hydraulic brakes. I was able to cruise at a high speed, keep up with other cyclists. And uh, it's, it's being the aluminum fast trike it is, I really enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride it for a little bit longer. I'm gonna ride back to the shop and we're gonna go over the components and check it out. So let's go. Okay, laid back Mickey here, and I just got back from a test ride on the Teratrike GTS, the Gran Turismo Sport. And let me tell you that I had a fun time. Now, some of the things that were cool is, like I live in Fair Oaks, which there's a steep hill that goes down fast to the bike trail. And so I was jamming over 25 miles per hour downhill on this thing here. 
it handled nice. And uh, the brakes, when I got down to the hill and I was coming to a, a shallow part where the going on to the bike trail, uh, the brakes work perfect. So the brakes work really well with those hydraulic brakes. I came over the bumpy bridge to get over to the bike trail and it handles it pretty well. The 1.5 tires, um, they're fast. You could always go a little bit wider if you want a little softer ride. Um, but hey, if you want fast, you could stick with the trikers. Uh, as far as the seat, uh, it was over 90 degrees outside. This is Sacramento County. It's our hot time right now. We are in a heat wave and I was wondering, would I like overheat myself? Well, I was getting hot, but the seat was very breathable. So that was a very nice uh, feature to the trike that it's not just all padding, there's a lot of breathability in there too. So I like that. As far as going up hills, uh, I was taking a pretty steep hill and the 22 speed uh, had enough gearing to get up the steepest hill and uh, usually I ride a motor on my trike, which I love, which they are going to be making a motor uh, additive on this or addition, however you want to say that. And you could add on a, a Bosch power assist motor system on it. Now, I think they're going to be out with the adapter for that in a, in a few months. So you'd want to put your orders in right away to reserve them because they'll go pretty quick. So talking about performance, this trike performed very well. It was fast on the straights and on the turns, it handled nicely. I, on some turns, I was like halfway off my seat because I was going really fast, but you wanna make sure that you take it slow on the turns until you learn your own trike. And so this is a mid-height seat trike. There's some trikes that are super low and that could handle the turns super fast, but this one's about mid, mid speed is what you're gonna take the turns. So learn your trike. Um, but the reason why they went with the uh, higher seat, like the Gran Turismo, is because they want it easy to get in the trike and out of the trike. Remember, Terra Trike is about comfort and about ease of use. And so this is their go at having the comfort, ease of use, and performance. So they are using the higher performance componentry. I definitely noticed that. Uh, the lightweightness of the trike, it felt breezy, easy, and it felt like I wasn't fighting the trike. I was going at a nice pace. I think you should try one out. Just come over to Laid Back Cycles, check one out. Um, or if you're somewhere else in the country, go over to your local Terra Trike dealer and try one out because they are so fun. And uh, this is Laid Back Mickey for Laid Back Cycles, reviewing the Terra Trike GTS. We'll catch you on the next video.